Hi folks, this is all the fruit. And here I have some quite strange almond tree. I'm on the university campus in Heidelberg in Germany. And yes, this almond tree. Yeah, almonds in Germany. It's really funny, but that's nothing strange. Actually, this area of Germany over the last centuries has even been exporting almonds until well into the 20th century. It has been exporting almonds to other less mild areas of Germany. So not only did this part of Germany produce enough almonds for its own needs, but it also export them. However, in the 20th century, well, I guess mostly because Germany became quite rich and labor-intensive works like almond harvesting and breaking were moved to other countries. This, uh, yeah, this cultivation of almonds kind of diminished. And then, yeah, later people thought, oh, almonds, those, uh, those wonderful pinkish flowers in early spring, we want those, they are so beautiful. But we have such a rough climate. So they basically made a hybrid between almonds and peaches called the peach almond and planted it all along the streets and country roads and in parks here in the area. It has flowers which, well, it, it blooms earlier, the flowers are bigger, they are more pinkish, it's more frost hardy, but the fruit are not so good. However, here around those buildings, around the Cancer Research Institute, they have a collection of edible fruit. And the peach almond, although theoretically edible, is not as edible as the normal almond. So I think that they might have gotten either some real almond cultivar, or maybe some peach almond cultivar, which is kind of adapted to being eaten. They kind of look like our peach almonds. Also, they feel like our peach almonds, but, <clears throat> well, the two most important features of the peach almond fruit is when you eat the green rind, <clears throat> it tasted almost like one of those peaches which are called mountain peaches or wild peaches or vineyard peaches. No, this here tastes just like a very green peach, despite the fruit being ripe and already bursting open. So this speaks against a, a peach almond hybrid. So the looks, they kind of remind me of a peach almond hybrid. I've seen this pinkish color, pinkish violet color only in peach almond. Also, the looks of the fruit remind me of a peach almonds. They look a lot like a peach stone, but they are not extremely hard. I could, I could hardly break peach almond stones with such a small stone. I would need a stone five or ten times the size and a lot of force. So I think that this is some almond cultivar which I haven't encountered before. Actually, mm -hmm. well, the seeds are still pretty fresh, very juicy. Look, I can even peel the skin off the seeds without problems. Hmm, really tasty. A very, very, very slight hint of bitter almond, but it's definitely not a bitter almond. Bitter almonds don't have a hint of bitter almond, they are really bitter. So yeah, pretty sure this is some almond which has been bred to be edible, but not the ornamental cherry almond. Maybe it has been bred with help of the cherry almond, so it might have some trace of, uh, no, not cherry almond, peach almond. Maybe it has been bred with the help of the peach almond. So that it has some traces of peach DNA. But basically, quite a nice 
edible almond. I like all kinds of fruit and seeds. Mm, no, what's going on with me today? I like all kinds of nuts and seeds when they are still fresh and juicy. So this was really tasty, but in a couple weeks I'll come back and if somebody has not harvested all the almonds, I'll try some of the really dried up, which will taste like the almonds you can find in the supermarket. Okay, folks, so this was an almond cultivated in one of the main former almond growing areas of Germany. Mm. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Latin name. Did I say the Latin name of the almond? Prunus abuctalus or abuctalus communis. Well, the peach is Prunus persica, but this doesn't seem to be the peach almond helm hybrid. This seems to be a real abuctalus communis. Okay, folks, so this was the almond in quite a fresh and juicy state. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the parks and gardens of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.